with precision farming finally gaining popularity to the game-changing biochar that could revolutionize climate-smart agriculture. The ag tech industry is promising a climate-smart future. So, let's explore how these innovative solutions are going to transform farming as we know it. Now, agriculture is more than just growing food. It can also play a crucial role in the fight against climate change. First of all, did you know that agriculture is responsible for a ton of greenhouse gas emissions? Yeah, it's true. But despite the emissions, we can't simply eliminate the practice. We obviously need food to eat and crops to feed livestock. So it's really important that we find ways to make agriculture more sustainable and climate smart while still meeting our food demands. The good news is that there are ways to reduce those emissions. And a newly emerging way to do it is with ag tech. That's right. New ag tech is promising to make farming more sustainable and climate smart. We're talking about precision farming, using renewable energy on farms, and reducing food waste, just to name a few. But it's not just about reducing emissions. Agriculture can also help mitigate climate change. One way is through carbon sequestration. To put it another way, it just means let's store carbon in the soil. By using practices like cover cropping and reduced tillage, we can actually remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and store it in the soil. And let's not forget about sustainable land use. Practices like agroforestry, which uses the same land for both trees and crops, helps reduce deforestation and soil erosion while also sequestering carbon. But wait, there's more. By adopting climate-smart agriculture practices like diversifying crops and improving soil health, we can increase our ability to withstand the effects of climate change. Because, let's face it, natural disasters are hitting us more frequently and severely these days, and we need to be prepared. On that note, let's talk more about climate-smart agriculture, and more specifically, about a Yukon researcher that's exploring a practice called biochar. They could put Connecticut on the map for CSA. Wei Ren, the researcher in question, is all about understanding the interconnections between different parts of nature and how they affect each other. And in Connecticut, with all its forests and farmland, Ren sees the potential for biochar to revolutionize agriculture and make it more climate smart. But wait, what's biochar anyway? It might sound like the name of a new metal band, but in reality, it's just a charcoal-like material created by burning organic waste from the forest and agriculture. And get this, scientists think humans have been using it for centuries as an agricultural practice. So how can biochar help with CSA? Well, for one thing, it can help store carbon in the soil and reduce emissions from agriculture. Plus, it can improve soil health and water retention, which are especially important during droughts. And the best part? Connecticut is an ideal place to explore and apply this approach. There's plenty of organic waste to turn into biochar. So let's dive deeper into how biochar can potentially be used. Renewable and Sustainable Energy Reviews released an essay by Ren and her team very recently, where they basically analyzed nearly 600 studies on biochar and its potential as a CSA practice. Now, CSA goes beyond just sustainable farming methods. It's all about sustainably ensuring crop yields to feed a growing population, while also improving the livelihoods of people in the area. CSA practices aim to enhance soil health, build climate resilience, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So, what's biochar got to do with it? Ren's team collected a massive amount of biochar research data to get a solid understanding of the practice, its benefits, challenges, and limitations. They wanted to see if biochar could be a climate smart practice, especially when it comes to food production, soil health, and environmental sustainability. They even plan to quantify water and nutrient footprints and assess the potential for promoting climate resilience. Basically, biochar could be a game changer in the world of agriculture. It's sustainable, it reduces emissions, and it could even help us build resilience to climate change. Now let's take a closer look at the study itself. They found that, like other CSA practices, biochar's effectiveness depends on the situation, but it generally helps improve soil quality. They're even proposing that biochar should be used more broadly. According to the author who's headlining the study, Yawen Wang, biochar really shines when it's used with other sustainable practices, and it can help farmers sustain food production, reduce green greenhouse gas emissions, nitrogen leaching, and save soil and water. So it's basically the complete package. Even though some of the lab experiments could have overhyped biochar's abilities, the researchers plan to do more field experiments to understand where and when to use it. Bond Rand is confident that with the right conditions, biochar can be used as a CSA approach in Connecticut. Since the state has a lot of trees and natural resources, nitrous oxide emissions, which have a global warming potential,
potential that is over 300 times greater than that of CO2 can be substantially reduced using biochar made from trees. Let's just hope they find a way to make this work. Ren has some good ideas about sustainability and climate smart practices that we need to pay attention to. And one of the most vital aspects is repurposing waste to benefit agriculture. Her vision is to make biochar from tree waste generated by forest management and use it to boost crop yields on Connecticut's farmland. It's all about that sustainability cycle, using waste to create something valuable. Ren wants to expand the idea of CSA and forestry to create a climate smart landscape by managing natural resources, farmland, wetlands, and other natural systems together. This can lead to linking forests and agriculture and creating a more sustainable environment for all of us. I have to say she's doing some really incredible work. Her background in ecosystem ecology and climate change adaptation gives her a unique perspective on agriculture. She sees agriculture as a crucial part of the interconnected earth system, meaning that sustainable studies call for collaborative efforts. And so implementing CSA practices isn't just about throwing some biochar on your soil and calling it a day. It's all about finding the right time and place and taking into account all the different factors at play. And let's be real, you can't just do that sitting in front of a computer or in the lab. That's why Ren and her team are working hard to relay their findings to the farmers so that they can experiment and give the team feedback on how to improve. But that's not all, folks. Ren and her team are also applying for more funding to keep this project going strong. They're reaching out to local biochar producers to save energy on transportation. Now that we've been talking about the pros of ag tech this entire time, but how do they weigh against their cons? While ag tech has the potential to revolutionize the agriculture industry, it's not going to be easy to implement it. One of the major advantages of ag tech is its ability to increase crop yields and reduce waste. Precision agriculture technologies like sensors and drones can help farmers make the best use of their resources, including water and fertilizer, resulting in higher yields and lower costs. Also, ag technology can reduce the environmental impact of farming by minimizing the use of harmful pesticides and herbicides as well. But there are still some concerns about its potential drawbacks. One of the biggest is the cost of implementation. Many of the new technologies can be expensive and require significant investment, which could be a challenge for small farmers. Also, some farmers may lack the technical skills and knowledge to use and maintain these technologies effectively. Another downside is the potential impact of ag tech on employment in the agriculture industry. As automation and robotics become more common, it's possible that the demand for human labor could decline, which could have negative consequences for rural communities that rely on farming for employment. But despite these concerns, the impact of ag tech on farming and food security is likely to be significant. By making agriculture more efficient and sustainable, it has the potential to increase food production and reduce food waste, and will help alleviate food insecurity around the world. But it will be important to ensure that the benefits of these technologies are shared equitably and that they are implemented in a way that supports the livelihoods of small-scale farmers and rural communities. That'll have to do it today for how new ag tech promises a climate-smart future.